if history has taught us anything, is that we need to learn from it. We had a problem with Johns on Salina Street. We got rid of them, and today we have a great downtown. I think we need to get rid of the Johns at our city hall. We need to rebuild. We need to bring pride back to our city. We must take a chance and a step forward for the betterment of the future of all of our children. Now, I stand here and you're wondering, well, I'm going to give you the traditional line of vote for me because I'm this great person. Well, maybe I'm not the greatest person and maybe I don't want you to vote for me. But I want you to vote for what I can do for you, for what I can do for your children, for your children's future. I don't want to be a career politician, sit in office for 20 years and basically promise you that vote me back in and tomorrow will be a better day. No. If I can accomplish my goals in four years, I'm done. And I'm confident enough as I have a proven record of being a tough, fair leader in getting things done. So I bring to you this question. Do we want to take a step back? Do we want the status quo? Do we want to fall for the usual fears of if you don't do this, your taxes will go up? Or are we going to move forward and we're going to control your taxes, bring investment to Oshawa, create jobs, create opportunity, and create a better future so that we can all hold our heads up and say, I'm proud of being from Oshawa. And this is why I stand here before you today. I don't stand here to tell you that I have all the answers either, because I don't. And I'll probably make you out of the state, but you know what? I'll take responsibility. I will not pass my responsibility down to my staff or to my council. I expect my council to operate as they would at any other corporation, at mid-managers, upper managers, reporting to me directly on what's important to you the taxpayers. We're taking our government back to you, to each one of you, the taxpayers of Oshawa. As it stands now, you're the servants of the municipality, and that will stop. That's not fair, and it's not really productive for us as a city. I get asked all the time, and I'm sure many of our, my fellow candidates, why should we trust you? Why should we believe you? Well, don't trust me. Don't believe me. Just watch me as I've done it before with a lot less. And I can do a lot more with your support on October 27th. Thank you very much. Have a great day.